Hello and welcome back to another Flutter tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing how to create a custom splash screen for iOS and Android in Flutter. So let's start with iOS first. For that, let me go to the project folder and find the iOS folder. Okay, there it is. Let me open the, sorry, let me open the Xcode workspace file. Okay, so let me show you the launch screen. So where it is specified, so you can see a launch screen file here. Okay, that's our launch screen. So you can see uh, it's empty now. So when you expand the view controller, you can see that there is an image, but you don't have an image here now. Okay, so let me add some images. For that, you need to go to the assets and you can see the launch image you can name it whatever you want and okay so let me add an image so you need to add 1x 2x and 3x for this demo i'm just adding the same image okay all right so let me run the application and show the current splash screen so right now it's empty i'm running the application okay so so there is our splash screen it's empty now so let's add the image so expand the view controller find the image and go to its properties and set the image Okay, launch image. All right. Now you can set the content mode as well if you want. Okay, run the application. Okay, now you should see the splash screen with the Apple logo. Okay, there it is. So you can have different. Uh, splash screen for different target as well. So if you want to do that you can create a new file and select the launch screen. I am naming it L2. Okay. So Flutter creates a splash screen for you. So I'm just changing the label to loading. Delete the copyright. Okay. Let's make it centralized. So I'm going to the constraints and setting the horizontal and vertical. Seems like something is wrong here. So let me delete the constraints and add again. Okay, delete it. All right, select the label and set the constraints again. Okay, it's working now. Now go to the target, your application, select your target, then select the launch screen. Okay, now it should show the splash screen with loading label. Okay. Okay, there you go. Okay. So let me go back to the X code and change it back to our previous splash screen. Okay. Um, running the application again. Okay, the Apple logo is back. So that's how we can set uh, a custom splash screen for iOS. Now uh, we will do the same thing in Android. Okay. So let me close the Xcode and now we need to open the Android project. So find the Android folder, open it and find the Gradle, okay. And open the build.gradle in Android Studio. Ok, 
Okay. So if you go to the resources and drawable, you can see the launch background. Here you can specify whatever you want to be shown in the splash screen. So here as you can see an item is already added. So that's a bitmap. So let me show the image. So we have different images for different resolutions. Okay. All right. Now let's run the application. Okay, so you can see the splash screen with the image there. Okay. Now we will try something else. So let me add another item. So I have already added it. So let me comment the first one and uncomment the second one. So that's a drawable with a color. So that's the color. So when we launch the application, we should see this color. Okay. So let's run the application. Okay, it's installing the APK. Okay, so there is our new splash screen. So let me show that again. Now what if we want to show the color and the icon at the same time in the splash screen? So it's, as you can see, it's a layered list. So each item will be a layer on top of each other. Okay. So let's change to a different color. All right. Run the application. So there we have the background color and the icon. Okay. So what if we change the order of each item? So run the application again. Okay, it's building. So now you cannot see the image because the image is just below the, uh, the color layer. Okay, so be careful with that. Let me show that again. Okay, so let me undo it. Okay, run the application again. Okay, so that's how you can create a custom splash screen in Android. Okay. So let me show where this file is used. So find usages. So you can see that it is in styles. So you can have your own file name as well for different build variants. Okay. You can even customize the style as well. So let me show the styles. So you can see that the style name is launch theme okay so when you go to android manifest.xml file you can see the style specified okay so you can have your own style as well okay so that's how you can create a custom splash screen in ios and android in clutter hope you like the video if you do please don't forget to like subscribe and share hit the bell icon for notifications also, please leave your valuable comments in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.